So hello and welcome to history classes. This is class 9th geography textbook and today we will be starting chapter 2 atmosphere structure air pressure and wind system. So mujhe request kiya gaya tha that to start chapter number 2 first. So I am starting this series on geography textbook lessons with chapter number 2. So let us begin. So yeah, it's your textbook ka screenshot. I will be explaining from here only. So chapter number two, we will be studying about atmosphere. Then we will be studying about the pressure belts. Atmosphere ki wajay se hi hota hai. Atmospheric pressure ki wajay se. Wind ka definition kya hota hai. Wind ka movement origin kaha se hota hai. Wind ko kaise measure kya jata hai. Wind classification and characteristics so it is a very heavy chapter but very very interesting chapter and i hope you will enjoy this studying this chapter only the introduction part so let us begin what is atmosphere we are surrounded by air from all directions although we cannot see or feel air we can definitely feel air wind ke roop mein. we are all surviving by sinking in the air so just imagine that air in a swimming pool, okay? Pani ki tarah imagine karo, aap us mein dube huye ho, aur waise hi rahe rahe ho, okay? To waise hi hum air mein dube huye hain, okay? Actually the gaseous uninterrupted envelope of air surrounding the earth from its surface up to some height is known as atmosphere, okay? So let us understand this. I will try to draw a diagram. So just imagine this is a earth. Okay. And this is the film of atmosphere. Enveloping the earth. Surrounding the earth. From all sides. All sides equal hai, although my lines are not equal. Okay, so from surface till some distance, that is 10,000 kilometer per distance, the earth is surrounded. In fact, we can say that we are surrounded on the earth, earth's atmosphere. So, yeah. So, Up to some height the ki atmosphere rehta hai. Beyond that, what we have is space, antarish. Okay. So, the atmosphere hai, wo, it extends vertically, vertically up to an altitude of around 10,000 km from the Earth's surface. So, as I have told you, vertically, sorry, vertically, uh, 10,000 km distance. Hai. Okay, as we go up to the Earth, 10,000 km to the atmosphere, uske baad, there is no atmosphere. Okay. It is due to the Earth's gravitational force. Okay. Remember this. Due to the Earth's gravitational force, ki the atmosphere rema remains attached to the Earth. Besides colorless gases, the atmosphere is composed of water vapor, dust particles. So atmosphere the composition kya hai? Some gases. Okay, we will study about the different gases. Then it is composed of water vapor and some dust particles. Here. So atmosphere is a very important element of the Earth's physical environment. We already know that the atmosphere along with land and water 
that is lithosphere land means lithosphere water means hydrosphere has made it possible to create a favorable environment for the origin growth and sustenance of living creatures on the earth so atmosphere together with lithosphere and hydrosphere has provided the life support earth may life kyu hai because of these three features and usko biosphere bola gaya life world theek hai besides providing gases essential for human plants and animals on the earth the atmosphere helps in the distribution and circulation of heat and moisture on the earth's surface so sirf hame gases to milti hai kyunki for breathing and respiration you already know that from the atmosphere we take this so atmosphere ka ek aur kaam hai it distributes and circulates the heat of the earth sorry and moisture on the earth's surface kaise we will study that it is due to the maintenance of a well balanced proportion of gases in the earth's atmosphere a congenial temperature favorable to human and other living beings prevails on the earth so the credit is given to atmosphere okay and together with uh, of course hydrosphere the atmosphere is providing a congenial atmosphere literally atmosphere or living conditions congenial temperature matlab favorable temperature ki earth mein sare living beings acche se reh sake तो इसलिए अगर हम लोग अंतरिक्ष में जाएंगे सो वी नीड ऑल द स्पेस ओके बिकॉज बाहर का टेम्परेचर इज नॉट सूटेड टू अस सो एटमोसफियर एंश्योर दैट वी कैन सर्वाइव इन द अर्थ अगेन ड्यू टू द मूवमेंट ऑफ एयर मेनी प्लेसेस टू सम एक्सटेंड गेट रिड ऑफ एक्सेसिव कोल्ड एंड हॉट कंडीशन सो एक्सेसिव कोल्ड एंड हॉट कंडीशन अर्थ में नहीं होता है अर्थ का टेम्परेचर इज जस्ट राइट जैसे कि जो कुछ प्लैनेट्स है अर्थ से सन से थोड़ी दूर है दे आर वेरी कोल्ड एंड सन के पास है दे आर वेरी हॉट सो एटमोसफेयर एंश्योर करता है कि आधा एक्सेसिव हीट एंड कोल्डनेस ना रहे बिकॉज सपोज एक एग्जाम्पल देती हूँ रात के टाइम में सन इज नॉट देर सो so, अर्थ क्या है ऐसा अगर एटमोसफेयर नहीं होता अगर एटमोसफेयर हीट को ट्रैप नहीं करता तो अर्थ क्या है बहुत ज्यादा जल्दी कोल्ड हो जाता और बहुत ज्यादा कोल्ड हो जाता सन के अभाव में और जैसे ही सुबह हुई सन आया अगर एटमोसफेयर वो मेंटेन नहीं करता टेम्परेचर तो सन की कुछ रेज को एब्जॉर्ब नहीं करता तो सन जो है अर्थ को बहुत ज्यादा गर्म कर देता तो जो बैलेंस मेंटेन किया हुआ है वो एटमॉस्फेयर की वजह से दिस एटमॉस्फेयर ऑब्स्ट्रक्ट्स द सन्स वेरी हार्मफुल अल्ट्रावायलेट रेडिएशन रीचिंग द अर्थ यू वी रेज द फॉर्मेशन एंड चेंज ऑफ वेदर एंड क्लाइमेट आल्सो टेक प्लेस इन द एटमॉस्फेयर सो वेदर एंड क्लाइमेटिक कंडीशंस टेक प्लेस इन द एटमोसफेयर ओनली आज का वेदर वी सी द वेदर रिपोर्ट एंड ऑल it is the play of nothing but the atmosphere it is due to atmosphere rainfall occurs on the earth and plants and animals thrive this is so important right rainfall jo hota hai on the whole the the existence of lives on the earth cannot be imagined without the atmosphere so it is very important that is why the place of earth is considered top most and unique among the planets in the solar system सो so, इसमें एटमोसफेयर पे ज्यादा स्ट्रेस क्या हुआ है लेकिन यू मस्ट अंडरस्टैंड दैट एटमोसफेयर लिथोस्फेयर एंड हाइड्रोस्फेयर दे वर्क इन हार्मनी टू क्रिएट द लाइफ कंडीशन ऑन दिस प्लैनेट अर्थ व्हिच इज नॉट फाउंड इन एनी अदर प्लैनेट ऑफ दिस गैलेक्सी ओके ऑफ दिस सोलर सिस्टम आई मस्ट सी ओके ओके सो थैंक यू आई होप द दिस इंट्रोडक्शन पार्ट इज क्लियर सी यू इन द नेक्स्ट क्लास